What's going down, techies and techettes? This is going to be the mid patch notes for AMD. The 20.4.2's come a long way, and with the Windows updates and the way they've circumvented with some security updates, there has been some nice improvements. My name's Mac, you're at the MacGyver 7th channel, and today we're going to be looking at some AMD news for as far as some bench snorks and performance. So let's go ahead and hop into it with a little bit of a closer look. As you can see right here, I've got the scoring of what we had when we first installed it. it was pretty bad. Compared to what it was before, you're like, hey man, what's going on here? This ain't that good of a driver, it kind of sucks, but not everything is always on AMD. Because the same driver, with Windows tuning, and it circumventing it with security updates, breeds this. Now that is a good score. When you look at and compare this between that, Firestrike, that's variable. I mean, that's a point where you want to see about 50, 25, maybe even 100. But when you drop down that much, that's like some FPS. That's not good. So yeah, Windows is finally now playing nice with the, the 1080p DirectX 11. So let's go ahead and hop into our other fields, shall we? So with the extreme portions of the test, you can see that there are some pretty good things. The 1200 Club is a nice club to be a part of, and I still do think that one of the other drivers prior to this is a little bit still better than this, but it depends on how it plays with the Windows. I still gotta test that out to make sure that they're still playing good with it. This whole thing could be because the way Windows plays with the graphic drivers, because it is its system of operation and software. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other tests. As you can see right here, we can bring ourselves to what is now the more current windows with the current 20.4.2 pretty chill the week prior eh, not too bad but i mean if you compare it to that you can kind of start seeing where the gains are so current very very beginning what we started with with the 20.4.2 which was horrible so ultra how's that look now ultra always comes in right before it smashes into almost about 6700 it's a little bit roughly a little bit below that but it's always popped above that median i've always seen the 664 to like 660 um 70 like sometimes depending on there you can kind of see some variance inside of there but when you kind of look at a score like this you're kind of going like well what's going on here you know like there's no improvements until you get to the most current windows update so i mean I don't think that this driver is is the best in the world, but I think that it's improving. And the prior driver was a lot more performance based on a situation for as far as driving DirectX 11. So it almost seems like 20.4.1 was way more tuned for this situation. And I'm wanting to make a segment later on that sizes up um, the one that I think is gonna work really good, the more current standard that they're throwing out there, and then, you know, the more current optional. I think that that would be kind of a nice fun mix of like a trifecta of software and see which one actually performs the best on the current windows. So I'd have to run those tests on the current time back to back to back in order to do that. So it might be fun for the future. I don't know, leave a comment down below if you'd be interested in watching that. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into where we've gotten. We've already seen that pretty much DirectX 11 trends completely positive but what about DirectX 12 and this is not where you're gonna like what they did with the whole balance of what's going down because if you take a look at this this was our original it's a pretty good score actually by itself before we did the major update when it kind of like came into the situation of knowing what's up well here we are but check this out yeah we see a reduction okay that was when we first installed the 20.4.2 and this is with the windows update so it's trending down not a good sight for eyes but how's the 4k could be a little different with the extreme or is it and surprisingly enough actually it did come out a little bit of head and you look right here our old school score with the old driver then we jump to the new driver and this is with the windows polishing so we gained two points two points only apparently 1080p they didn't like a lot in this update so you are seeing trends should i update my windows along with this well i think at this point in time it's a little bit more safer if you are utilizing the 20.4.2 for the gpu that works because i've heard a lot of um ebbs and flows for as far as people saying that it's helped my card it has not mailed my card at all and you know if it's helped your card drop a comment down below of what gp you have and how it helped it because that might help someone else look into it or if it had the diverse effect the opposite effect of it completely wrecked my card well 
first revert back to the old driver. You can always search in my channel and find the driver that's there. I always have them listed down there for as far as what driver you can pick and it goes directly to the AMD site and you can very quickly get that driver. It's very easy. Um, if not, hit me up. I can always drop a comment down below of like what driver you're looking for. But the point being is go always go back, revert back to what was going on and see and test and see what ends up happening. But that's hitting home for as far as our mid patch notes. I hope that's helped everyone. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me and this awesome situation that happened. I was really happy to kind of like, kind of see the improvements though. I'm still not happy with 20.4.2. So where's my new driver, darn it. Where's my 20.5.1 AMD? I want to see it, son. But. If you are new to the network, you can always subscribe. It helps me out as absolutely free. And look forward to the segment that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. I'm going to be hot rodding my friends. Freaking PlayStation. We're going to make it an external extension. One terabyte. Some solid state. We're going to thermal freaking remap that thing and make it all sing. But yeah, stay tuned for that, everyone. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay classy. Stay safe. And I'll see you there.